what I've done in these pictures, here's the animal, is this is the external activity. So this is actually the soil, as it were, and say, in the earth, we've got these activities <coughs> taking place. And you can see that here's the two calcium processes here, and this is the uh, earthly calcium, and this is the cosmic calcium here, and here's the silica process here. So that's what's happening externally. And, and they're working, light and warmth, earth and water, you know, these are physical phenomena. As I said, if you get too much water in your environment, you're going to get all these problems. Too much light and heat, you're going to get these problems. So these are physical things that we have to work with all the time. And so that's why they're there. Now, when we come internally, of course, you know, we and the animals are standing upright. So in space, we've got the light and the heat coming and all of our head processes are actually standing upright. So in reality, we've got this cosmic forces of earthly substance sitting here. And then here's your, your uh, other two. And so when we come to the plant, that's actually reversed. We've still got the same external activity taking place, but the head is down here. And here's your metabolic process. So, you know, this diagram is just trying to make that clear. That, that we um, have these activities. Now this is the eighth lecture diagram. So here's nerve sense system, metabolic system, cosmic substance, earthly forces, earthly substance, cosmic forces. So this is the picture when he's talking about animals and feeding animals and so on. That that's the picture that he puts, but it's not there until the eighth lecture, where it should have been there in the second lecture, because it's exactly the same story that he tells in the second lecture as the eighth. 